My name is Ronan Cohen and I lead product marketing and strategy at Duality Technologies. We offer privacy preserving solutions for companies in the retail industry, financial services and healthcare that allow them to extract value from their data without compromising on risk, trust or compliance. My background is in B2B tech, building businesses across a variety of industries. Um, and at Duality, my day to day is focused on making sure that we build the right product for the right audience with the right message. So making sure that we're delivering high impact and high value for our customers. Data privacy is basically how you handle sensitive information. So that means how you store it and how you use it. Uh, an example of sensitive information for retailers and e-commerce providers is customer information, right? Names, addresses, demographics, so on and so forth. So that type of information is really sensitive because it could be personally identifiable. And that means that the way that you store it and what you could do with it is held to a different standard than other types of data. Uh, so for retailers, there's a lot of new privacy regulations coming into play in Europe and in the US and really around the world. So that type of information needs to be treated in a different way if you want to monetize it, if you want to do co-marketing, co-selling, or personalization. Duality Technologies balances the need to utilize your data and extract value from it, for example, by collaborating with third parties, with the need to remain compliant with privacy regulations, keep your business secret secret, and keep your IP safe and secure. And the way that we do that is by leveraging an advanced type of encryption called homomorphic encryption and combining it with data science. So what that means is that we're actually able to encrypt your data and apply analytics to it. Anything from simple analytics all the way to AI and machine learning. So you can actually utilize your data and extract value while it's encrypted. So that's really useful for use cases like data monetization, co-marketing, co-selling, personalization. Basically, when you work with sensitive data, but you don't want to increase your risk profile or you want to make sure that you're complying with privacy regulations around it. There are huge trust and privacy challenges in retail and e-commerce today. They are challenges in and of themselves. It seems like every day we, there's a constant stream of companies in the news for mismanaging and mishandling sensitive information. And that has really led to trust being broken between consumers and brands and partners as well. And this actually has a pretty significant financial impact. Brand is everything in retail, and anything that could tarnish your reputation can cause you to lose your customers and lose your partners. So the issue of trust is a really big deal. Now, governments have also seen this issue, and they've reacted with privacy regulations, basically governing what you can or can't do with data and how you store it. And these regulations also present a challenge because now how can you keep growing your business or running your business? How can you keep monetizing your data, collaborating with other parties to do co-marketing or co-selling or personalization, even fighting fraud when laws tell you that you can't use certain data? Uh, so duality really balances the need between both of those and enables retailers to continue doing those activities while still complying with regulations. Privacy preserving technology can be useful across retailers and e-commerce companies. Basically anywhere where there might be a tension between privacy regulation, risk, and consumer and partner trust is a good place to evaluate using privacy preserving technology like what Duality has. So a few examples of that would be collaborating with third parties for co-marketing or for data monetization. With Duality, what you can do is actually encrypt that data and still do co-marketing and still do data monetization, which actually means that you can continue bringing in revenue to your company while still complying with regulations and without infringing on the trust that consumers have placed in you. Uh, other examples would also be in personalization and co-selling, basically anywhere where you really wanna use your data, but that data is sensitive. I think whether the emerging regulations around data privacy work or not are predicated on two things. One is implementation and enforcement. We've seen a lot of difficulty implementing GDPR in the EU, and I would expect the same for CCPA and other forthcoming regulations. And so how governments choose to actually implement those laws is the first uh, sort of question on whether they're gonna work or not. Now, the other one is actually a matter of perspective for retailers and e-commerce companies. Uh, I believe that they can view these regulations as either a barrier to business or they could view them as a framework with which to rebuild and retain trust with your consumers. And if you view it as, a, as the latter, you can actually start being solution oriented and look towards technology as an enabler. 
to enable you to continue to run your business and grow your business without having these regulations be a barrier. So ultimately, whether these regulations work or not, I think are gonna be predicated on whether technology is going to be an enabler and how governments choose to implement and enforce them. Privacy regulations definitely impact day-to-day -day business activities in a big way because they determine what type of data is sensitive and therefore what you can or cannot do with it. So when it comes to data monetization, co-selling, personalization, co-marketing, those can definitely be affected by these types of regulations. However, with privacy preserving technology like what Duality has, which actually allows you to encrypt that data and still run analytics on it, which means you can still use it, uh, with that type of technology, those types of activities and those types of regulations can definitely coexist where you can continue to do them, but you're still complying with regulations. You're not putting trust at risk and you're not putting your data at risk either. We could say that retailers are irresponsible with user data at its simplest form if they're not complying with the regulations like GDPR and CCPA. But I think beyond that, what you'll start to see is that retailers and e-commerce companies are going to start thinking about the concepts included in digital trust. Now, digital trust is made up of data security, which is uh, data infrastructure, compliance and governance, as well as digital ethics, which are things like data privacy, transparency on data use and using data for good. And I think you'll come to see that those companies that incorporate digital trust in their offerings and in their data will be able to differentiate versus other retailers. They'll be able to increase their brand equity. They'll be able to improve and, and strengthen the trust that they have with consumers and with their partners. And so if you don't do that, you're ultimately going to be irresponsible to your stakeholders, to yourself as a business. Um, so, you know, the, the short answer is I think if you don't think about digital trust first, you're going to be seen as irresponsible when it comes to how you use data.